Hello again everyone. Today we have the second lesson in chapter 20, Electromagnetic Induction. We said before, what the meaning of the electromagnetic induction? We said we have electromotive force, EMF, equal to negative N, number of turns, times delta phi divided by delta T. And we said we have an induced current, which is equal to EMF divided by R. So today, yesterday, uh, the previous lesson, uh, we solved an example. So today, we have to solve the practice problems from the book. So it's practice A from the digital book. So first question, I will solve two questions. Then you have two questions as a homework. So here we have a computer store memory by something, blah, blah, blah. We have an electromagnetic head. Suppose a head consisting of a 148-turn coil wrapped around an iron ring with an area equal to 1.25 times 10 to negative 8. Now, the head is parallel to the magnetic field that changes pi, changes pi, 5.2 times 10 to negative 4 tesla in 8.5 times 10 to negative 9 seconds. What's the induced? electromotive force EMF in the coil. Guys, again, you have to understand the question. You have to understand the question because you need to write down the given. So again, suppose a head consisting of 148 turns. So we have 148 turns. That's mean first given here, we have n equal to 148. Then, with an area of 1.25 times 10 to negative 8. So, area equal. So, A equal 1.25 times 8 to negative 8 times 10 to negative 8, sorry, meter squared. The head is parallel. Parallel, that means the theta here equal to zero. And again, we know cosine zero equal to one. So simply we can ignore it. Magnetic field that changes pi. So here we have delta B. So be careful. It's delta B. It's not PI or PF. If we have magnetic field equal to one, then the magnetic field equal to five, for example, uh, so we have P initial and P final, but here we have magnetic field that changes pi 5.2. That's mean we have delta B. It's ready. So here we have delta B equal to 5.2 times 10 to minus 4. In 8.5 times 10 to power minus 9. Okay, is it EMF? No. Why it's not EMF? Because it's in second. So he's here change by 5.2 times 10 to minus 4 tesla in in this time so we have time here equal to 8.5 times 10 to minus 9 second so here first step we have givens he's asking what's the induced emf find emf so emf equal to minus n times delta phi divided by delta t so it's negative n times a, B, cosine theta, divided by T. So, again, N, it's given. Delta B, given. Area, given. Theta, again given. Time, given. So, the final answer here is going to be 0 0.11 volt. Don't forget, the electromotive force it must be in volt. And the current in ampere, time in second. Magnetic field, Tesla. Magnetic flux. Tesla times meter square, or it's equal to Weber. Now, second question. A coil with 205 turns of wire, a total resistance of 23 ohm, and we have an area equal to 0 0.25 meter squared. So what average current is induced? What average current is induced? So here he's asking to find the induced current in the coil during the 0 0.25 second during this time so we have the time equals 0 0.25 second that's that the magnetic field drops from 2 
So now we have P initial and we have P final because it drops from 1.6 Tesla to 0 Tesla. So again, first step, we need to write down the figures here. Again, from Pepe Canning, a coil with 205 terms. So first given here, N equal 205. A total resistance of 23 new ohm. So we have second given here, R equal to 23. An area of 0 0.25. So area 0 0.25. What average current is induced? Average current is induced. He's asking to find I during the time. So we have time equal 0.25 second here. That the magnetic field drops from 2. So BI, P initial equal to 1.6 Tesla here and B final equal to 0 Tesla. So he's asking to find I. To find I, first of all, we need to find EMF. Because as we know, I equal to EMF divided by R. R actually is given. I don't care about R, but we have to find EMF. EMF equal negative N times A cosine theta delta T divided by time. Again, let's check it one by one. N, yes, given, 205. Area, 0 0.25. Cosine theta, actually, again, it's 1. Cosine, it's 0, sorry. Cosine is 0 equal to 1, so simply we can ignore it. Delta B Delta B all the time, any delta, it's equal to the final value divided uh, my negative or minus uh, initial value. So it's equal to final value here is zero. So it's zero negative or minus 1.6. So the answer for delta B is negative 1.6. So here we have a negative at the formula and we have negative from delta B. That means the final answer must be positive so again now negative 205 n times area times cosine zero times delta b here which is p final minus p initial divided by time it's equal to the emf then divided by r here 23 it's equal to i so the i is equal to 14 a 14 ampere again it's positive because here the magnetic field decreased since the magnetic field decreased that means the induced current will increase, so it must be positive. So guys, here you have two questions as a homework. Here, question three with the final answer. Please check your answer. And question four, again with the final answer. In question three, he is asking you to find the area. And in question four, he is asking you to find the magnetic field, the value or the magnitude or the magnetic field.